Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about MESH, Medical Subject Heading. This is a very simple concept you can use in PubMed search. And there are other counterparts in different uh, database search engines like Ovid or EBSCOhost. But this MESH is the most widely used controlled term, controlled term. Many people are confused with this concept of MASH and have a difficulty to utilize it. I said utilize because it, this is something you can utilize it just like uh, other tools like pliers and screwdrivers. So let's see what they say about MASH. Hierarchical vocabulary that is used for indexing articles. So this purpose is indexing articles in PubMed. And there are indexing system in IMDB or Pandora in music database. All the database have uh, their own indexing system and this is one of the indexing system and with more specific terms organized underneath more general terms, so hierarchical. Mesh contains more than 19,000 terms and it is used is updated annually to adapt to changes in medicine and medical terminology. So it is changing, changing every year. Um, MESH is a tagging system. You can tag as many as you want. So tagging is a little bit different from classification or directory system or folder system. Just think about iTunes. Everybody complain about iTunes, but regarding tags, it's a super useful function in iTunes. You can sort your mu all thousand musics with uh, tags in very organized manner. And that is the beauty of tagging. Each article has different numbers of tag with editor registered. So if you use the classic classification with a folder-like system, folder-like system, it works like a just physical folder you can put one music in one folder. If you want to put the music from George Michael into the British pop, pop or adult pop, you should decide which folder I should put in. If once you put his music in a British pop, you cannot find his music on adult pop. But tagging is a lot more versatile. So for example, all these articles have a different number of tags. So it's like a property. If the editor think that property fit this article, they put that tag, those tags in that article. For example, here, Medicare proposed coverage of acupuncture for low back pain. So if you look into the match terms for this article, Medicare proposed proposes coverage of acupuncture for low back pain. It has seven tags, acupuncture therapy, chronic pain, subheading therapy, and humans, insurance coverage. So these are the related terms for this article, so seven terms. The next one is different. The title, Evaluation of Clinical Efficacy of Silver Needle Warm Acupuncture in Treating Adults with Ache to Low Back Pain Due to Lumbar Sacral Disc Carnation Study Protocol for Randomized Controlled Trial Even if it is just protocol, it has countless, countless tags. I, 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 I do not want to spend time counting those. Uh, you can see a lot of tags here. So th it is different from classic classification folder-like system. Then why do we or they need this kind of system tagging? Here is an analogy. You let's suppose you are selling different kind of fabrics in website. Fabrics they have different colors and fabric types, but sellers and buyers use different language. Some say gray, some say tan, some say brown, light brown, some say dark orange, dark brown. But to me, they look very similar. And they have different feelings of texture too. Over the sense of color, there was a big fight on a website. Do you see this cloth? I think you are familiar with this cloth. And some says this is gold, some says this is brown, and actually this was a blue. Therefore, you, the seller, the fabric seller, 
you jumped into the new business, you decide to make a system with standardized terms, standardized terms for searching for readers and organizing for you. Here, PubMed. This is system is just for convenience. You don't have to argue with the, how the system invented. So you can divide the orange color into the red color. It's up to you and it's up to PubMed. So this is just indexing system. So you divide the fabrics into the blue colors and red colors and in blue colors there are a bunch of different blue colors like cobalt blue or sky blue and red, wine red and the super wine red and texture soft, silky soft or milky soft and types linen or cotton and weight light, super light and medium light you can have organized system and the readers will not the searchers in the website will not be confused anymore from now on once you buy the product from mystic arabian you tag them you tag the product as soon as possible like this blue and sub sub tag sub category cobalt and soft linen asian light and transparent lightly transparent or totally transparent and these are the system you made and these are the system the PubMed made under the name of mesh of course there are too many synonyms and adjectives but you have a rule now and you let the buyers know the rule of the terms of the terms that you you use so this is just rule and that is mesh terms as a control term so this is the reason we call control term when you search low back pain before you had needed to find low back pain, lower back pain, lumbago, backache, back pain, lower part. There are a bunch of terms referring to same condition or overlapping conditions. But from now on, you just need control term, which is low back pain. And it search everything related to that control term, even under that hierarchy subcategories. You can use Mesh Browser provided by NIH in the following URL. So this is an example. This is the Mesh Term pane. On the pane, there are uh, so big list of the Mesh Terms. This is only one third of them. It goes like this. There are subcategories, so chest pain, angina pectoris. Angina pectoris has another, uh, another list of the subcategories. So it goes like this and it's like a tree, it expands. If an exact heading does not exist, indexers use the mesh browser and the hierarchy to find the most specific heading available. Cranial radiation therapy is indexed as cranial irradiation, not radiation therapy but irradiation, which is under radiotherapy branch of the mesh tree. So you just browse the tree in systematic manner and you can find it this is not just a random guessing and you can find two mesh terms with acupuncture and it's subcategory sub terms acupuncture first one is acupuncture actually it is related to occupation and second one is acupuncture therapy as an intervention under the acupuncture therapy you can find acupuncture analgesia acupuncture ear electroacupuncture and meridians and moxibutions and electroacupuncture can find all the related terms like e-steam or electric stimulation or electric needle because the indexers in PubMed they find those related terms with uh, electroacupuncture no matter what the research called e-steam or electro stimulation or electroacupuncture you just tag them with that control term electroacupuncture so this is a very convenient way uh, you can check the mesh la label in each article like this. Let's see. Uh, this is an example. So if you find the acupuncture and dry needling for low back pain, you just click it. And after abstract, you can see the pull down menu here, publication types and mesh terms. So let's click it and you can find four different mesh terms. So this article from Cochrane database has a very simple for mesh terms, so like this. 
mesh might not give you very la latest articles because it is created by manual work. So like this, I will show the example here. So this is the search with the most recent sorting order. So if you click the first one, it, it, it seems like the most recent one. But there's a mesh term, but let's try to find a more uh, popular uh, coronavirus. Let's see. This is indexed with the uh, uh, most recent. And if you click it, so uh, this one might be the 2020 May, so that you cannot see the mesh terms here. So sometimes you can miss. Uh, the articles if you are looking for very updated articles with the mesh term that is the one limitation of mesh and there's one thing you need to understand about mesh the concept you need to understand about mesh is exploding mesh explodes like a bomb so there, there, there is a consecutive consecutive re reaction like a domino for example, the system, the colors from general color, that's the system you made, it goes from general color to specific colors, like a general blue to cobalt blue, sky blue, baby blue. It is called explosion, exploding in mesh. So pain explodes to detailed one like low back pain or headache or neurasia. So if you just type the mesh term it explode automatically so it is the way it this is the way of increasing the sensitivity so you don't have to go all the details with uh, subcategories like you type the acupuncture with mesh you are automatically finding electro acupuncture or ear acupuncture and so on so when PubMed searches for term, it automatically explodes or include the more specific terms. For example, astron and astriol for the term estrogen, and all mesh subheadings in the family of subheadings. And this effectively increases the search yield sensitivity. Anytime during search, you usually can see how PubMed has executed the search by selecting details in the features menu. And I told you this increased the sensitivity, but also increased the specificity. Because sometimes the titles and abstract can include not that related terms. In those cases, the editors, the indexers in PubMed do not put that specific term like acupuncture or estrogen in those articles if it is not that related. And by any chance, if you do not want this kind of explosion, so you don't want to find the electric puncture or ear acupuncture, you just want to find the acupuncture, very specific acupuncture, then you can use the tag, this MH, MH means mesh heading, and colon, no explode, and OEXP. By attaching this tag, like a acupuncture MH colon, no exp then you will uh, retrieve the result without those subcategories and there are counterparts like uh, central this is the system by the Cochrane library and em base they have a different counterpart the indexer in different systems and they have a different grammar and different classification but they are all similar. Once you are get used to the mesh in Medline, you can use other languages without much of difficulties. Uh, so this is a one example. So it starts from the research question like this: Can acupuncture be effective intervention for controlling feeling of hunger with obese patients? So this is the uh, PICO system. Uh, regarding research topic, P stands for problems. So in this case, the problem is hunger. But hunger is a very general term. It, 
there are so many similar terms we can substitute hunger like a craving or appetite control or appetite so we need a control term this is the general natural term so we need a control term in a mesh window like you can use a mesh browser and you can type hunger or just appetite and there is a related terms like uh, appetite appetite regulation maybe these are the terms you want to use there are appetite regulation and appetite and you can see that this appetite the tag is under the term hunger so by choosing hunger you can find you can increase the sensitivity so hunger appetite appetite regulation will be searched with the term hunger and acupuncture so we know that acupuncture has a two different mesh terms let's try the acupuncture in those cases that you can see two different the mesh term and these are the subcategory of the acupuncture therapy first let's say acupuncture and this is indexed under the category of health occupation health occupation so this is not the acupuncture you want so what you want is categorized as a complementary therapies so acupuncture therapy is the term you want this is the way of using control term so when you use when you search and this research topic you can use this mesh terms but let's see so acupuncture therapy let's put it in a search builder here we go and hunger so here hunger and so i'll create a search builder and let's click it and you come you came up with 14 articles regarding this acupuncture and cra the craving and the hunger so these are not that related article but there are only 14 articles retrieved so you can do the just hand search effect of acupuncture therapy on appetite of obesity patients so these, these are the articles you may want